Hello everyone, this is Bryna Block from the San Diego Center for AIDS Research. Today we're talking about international pilot grant recipients and how they have worked with our San Diego CIFAR. Today I have the honor of introducing Dr. Anna Olga Mokumbi. She is Senior Researcher and Head of the Division of Chronic and Non-Communicable Diseases for the National Health Institute of Mozambique. Dr. Mukumbi is also an Associate Professor of Clinical Cardiology at Eduardo Mondlane University, and she is the Chair of the Lancet NCDI Poverty Commission in Mozambique. Dr. Mukumbi, thank you so much for joining us today. It is such an honor to meet you and to have you joining us. Thank you very much. Okay. The pleasure is mine. Would you like to talk a little bit about your international pilot grants? Um, thank you. First, I, I, I want to uh, say it again. It's for me a pleasure to share my experience with uh, the CIFAR uh, international pilot grants and uh, to tell you that they indeed helped me in establishing the team that I now have at the National Health Institute in Mozambique. And that uh, using the results, uh, we were also able to attract some young researchers that uh, begin working with us on the programs, but on, on those pilot grants, but are now doing the academic studies and uh, still with us. So the three, uh, uh, pilot grants that I had were related to the linkage between HIV infection and chronic diseases, particularly cardiovascular diseases. And as you say, as you see, we started by uh, assessing the cardiovascular risk in Mozambican patients infected uh, with HIV that were followed in a clinical setting uh, that was initially only seeing HIV infected patients, but then evolved to see both patients and some of their relatives. And the, the two final grants that you see uh, uh, on this slide, where in fact one has a follow-up of the second one, although they were pilot, one followed the other and were for us to start doing uh, pilot grants to open the research area in our institution on HIV and chronic complications of HIV. Over. Thank you very much for that overview. Very much appreciated. Okay. Have you used your pilot grant results to publish papers and apply for other grants? And if not, tell us how you will be using the data in the future. So yes, I used, I used the, the results to apply for new grants. Um, I wrote three grants, uh, one B43 grant, was not successful. Uh, one, uh, another grant for the NIH was a grant on the HLB simple um, call that was for uh, implementation science on HIV. And I was successful and is the grant that I'm using now. And I'm uh, presently writing a third grant that I'm hoping to apply for um, uh, a funding mechanism in the UK. So yes, I have one rejected, one approved and one on the way. And are you still working with Dr. Brown or Dr. Kim at UC San Diego? Yes. Um, I think that we will have time to, to talk about the outputs, but yes, I'm working with them. Um, in fact, uh, I'm also working with Dr. Weil, one of the other uh, collaborators uh, for uh, chronic diseases, working on epidemiology, uh, epidemiology of cardiovascular diseases, and they are also part of the, the grant I'm writing presently to apply. 
Okay, what would you, what advice would you have for new international pilot grant applicants? Well, um, I think that uh, it really depends where you're working and probably the area you come from and your background. But my advice is that um, I found the scheme very uh, easy to follow in terms of uh, the grant application procedures, uh, rigid and with the norms and the rules that should be followed, but not extremely painful as we say as researchers to follow and to, to become uh, compliant with what was needed. However, I think that it's important to have some support for the administration of the grant. I think that I was fortunate to have this support through me here, our research support center at the university. And the one other advice that I would uh, also give is that it's important to really try to make the, the collaboration with people who are more or less familiar to what we are doing. And I also was fortunate enough to have a mentor, uh, Dr. Schooley, who introduced me to all my collaborators in San Diego. So I think that that was important, but from there on, it was a, an independent collaboration and the, everything went very well. Mm -hmm. So to summarize what I hear is it helps, it's essential to have some administrative support on mm -hmm. your end as the pilot grant investigator at your institution. It's yes. important to have um, a mentor above and beyond the collaborations that you form. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Schooley served that role for you and introduced you to your other collaborators. Yes, yes. Okay, that's but very- I think that one, one third uh, recommendation, sorry, uh, one third the recommendation would be also to try to, to respond to the expectations of the collaborators. I think that when we join as a team, we all are hoping to do something and to be um, reliable and to be compliant with what we agreed. I think that is very important. Uh, in our case, we were able to reach our goals. We were able to um, give our outputs and I think that this, that was important to keep our relationship and our collaboration moving on until today. That is very interesting feedback. So did you meet with your collaborators in advance, Dr. Kim and Dr. Brown, and decide who would have, who would be doing what throughout your projects? Yes, we met virtually first. And then I had the opportunity of meeting uh, them during a trip that I did to San Diego later on. Uh, but I think that what we, we did was to have very clear tasks. I needed uh, a lot of uh, support and the mentorship on the HIV side. Uh, but I always tried to, to set the objectives uh, in advance for, for our full collaboration, let us say. And uh, although it was very difficult, we tried to, to keep the promises and to write the papers that we wanted in, in order to formalize and uh, have good results, not just for me, but also for the people who are supporting me. And I think that that was very important. It, it was good because it had to push me as a, a point to reach an output or a deliverable that we had to have. But I think that from, the recip from a recipient point of view, it was also important to build confidence and, uh, and trust among the, the teams and among my mentor also, not to let him down in other words. <laughs> 